For this episode of Indiana Hunter, we're still in the early archery season. We climbed up in a tree with 30 mile an hour winds, but it didn't take long before we had some action. And just like that, a buck that we have pictures of and a buck that we'd love to take walks right out of our lives. Just a little while after that deer walked by us, Jake decided to get his horns out and do some rattling. And wouldn't you know, that deer comes right back in. At first, we weren't sure about the shot, but after we snuck out of the woods, we looked at the footage and we knew it was a good hit. The arrow entered the deer a little far back, but that was okay because he was quartering away just a little bit, so it came out good. Oh man, I'm really, uh, I'm really excited to get this one. 
we got in a stand early today. The wind was really bad. It's, uh, what I think today's the 11th of November. We had a cold front come through and the temps really dropped. And we had him come in probably about four o'clock. I tried grunting and snort wheezing, but I could not get him to come into bow range. So an hour or so went by when I finally decided to use the antlers and that was the ticket. He, he just uh, must have been looking to, you know, find that doe that those bucks were fighting over because he came in and a little bit farther shot than I would have liked, but I felt good with it. I had a quarter and away shot and it, it went in, you know, a little bit back, but it, it came out good and he didn't go very far at all and we found him. And uh, this is this is really special deer to me to be able to put this together on film with Heath. We've sat countless hours and years in a tree stand trying to get a bow kill, a nice one, and we finally got it done. And that uh, there's definitely a special place on the wall for this one.